It's a three ingredient drink that has a huge variable, which for me is the lime. And it, it's one of the few drinks, the Caipirinha is one of the few drinks that has this one thing that you have to take into account so much to really make it shine and be great. Whereas so many other cocktails, you know what to count on. You know what the bottle's gonna do. And you, uh, you know how it's gonna function every time. But this little guy, this little guy's crazy. We went to the market. We bought limes. What kind of limes did we buy? We bought nice limes. Smooth skin, supple flesh. You want the one that's pretty dense. Uh, it, can be, it can be firm, it can be a little squishy. The only things to stray away from are any brown spots. Uh, if it's overly dry, you'll notice immediately. It'll be really wrinkled on the outside. There's the thick peel limes. They don't have enough juice in them. You want to find a lime that doesn't have such a thick peel, that isn't so hard. Um, you want to make sure that there's no wax on the lime. That's very important in choosing your lime. You can just roll it around your hand. If it's got some give and some push, then uh, you know there's a lot of good juice in there. That's really what you're looking for, is minimal peel, maximum flesh for juice. You look for color, you want a nice, vibrant, vibrant green. These little runty guys that are smooth skinned and don't have much of a dimple here because there's no juice there, there's no flavor there. Uh, these little guys that when you juice them, it's all flavor. You're looking for lime juice. This guy, he'll do. How much lime you put in this drink is going to depend on how much juice this lime yields, but we have a good sense that one lime is going to make us a good caipirinha. You make it with the right amount of lime, you make it balanced. So I'm going to make mine with a whole lime. So when you're cutting the limes for the caipirinha, uh, the most important first step is to take the limes out of the fridge, let them warm up, let them get into room temperature, because cold limes have no juice. Um, the second thing that almost everyone will tell you is to give it a little roll. You know, this lime, this lime doesn't have to be pretty anymore. The prettiness of this lime is over because we're about to crush it. Get all the pith off of the ends to start. Because we want to get rid of little parts of the lime that can get a little bit bitter. So just cutting off those two ends, you can already start to see that we're just now finally getting the juice. And before, if you have a lime that has a really long end on it, that's just, that's just like a little capsule of, of bitterness uh, waiting for your, for your juice or for your cocktail. Have that lime. You're going to have the same problem in the middle here. It's very pithy. It's very similar to what's underneath the green rind. And we cut that out just because that's going to be a little bit bitter. And we want just a lime juice. I like to call it a little V cut. Just like that. And it's gone taking that bitter element out. Basically, you just want as much citrus pulp in the center. I mean, look at this, juicy, it's so nice. And you can cut it enough to open it up because you are gonna muddle it, but keeping the pieces together. I just turned this lime into a little accordion, like that, you know. Then I'm gonna go back and score it diagonally like a fish. What you end up with is this lime that's gonna break up so perfectly and so easily in a cocktail give you the minimal amount of bitterness but just enough and uh, release all of the juice possible which we tried to do on a boat but uh, it was not an easy process because the boat started picking up speed the boat leaned the limes rolled and limes were falling overboard The lime peel is very important. It has a little bit of uh, bitterness. There's aromas that you get inside the peel that you're not going to get if you just use lime juice. Yeah, and you can't replicate this flavor because you're cutting the limes in the moment. You can't do that an hour in advance. Even if your lime is cut an hour ago, it's going to taste different than if you squeeze it right now. So now we have the acid from the limes. We just need to sweeten it to balance it out. 